one thing that the red pill community talks about a lot is how the modern woman feels very entitled to the praise and resources of men another major topic of discussion is how women aren't held accountable say for example if two co-workers are having sex only the man is punished what do you think about these two topics well i mean the first one when it comes to sexual relationships i think it makes sense why women feel entitled like if you have the goods then you are entitled to them <laughs> like they're obviously when it comes to the sex when it comes to the sexual marketplace the women when it come have more of what is in demand than men okay so men have i don't know security partnership commitment love and i'm i'm not saying women are are not horny women are very horny and they do enjoy sex with men okay but comparably it is the men who are the seekers and yeah. the women who are have what it what the men wants right so this the demand and supply <laughs> is always in favor of, it's it's it's, it's in yeah. favor of women it has always been in the favor of women this is why by the way the fact that it has always been in favor of this balance has always been in favor of women is why the world the, became misogynist right Wh why we had patriarchy okay because men had the muscle power women had what what men wanted so mm -hmm. it made it made strategic sense to take away the choice from women using the muscle power you wanted to make sure women what women have you can take it without asking for it right this is uh, why so, yeah this is why why the whole point of the patriarchy this is why society was it wasn't men's choices it would naturally if, if it was the other way around if women had the muscle power and men had the sex appeal it would have been the opposite right it would naturally just move to a di direction yeah. so obviously when we remove the chains from women right and we try to get rid of the, you know the, this imbalance of power between men and women women will have now the upper hand on the dating scene it's just mm -hmm. natural what did they, what the hell do you expect so you could complain about it's like complaining about biology it's complaining mm. about nature yeah, you want to complain about nature <clears throat> yeah I, I just i i can never get this red pill argument and i think this is why red pill community is 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 a factory for making incel men and bitter incel men i i spoke with peter bogosian and i said i actually worry that there's going to be more incel violence this, this incel kind of a violence that 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 we've seen in canada and britain as well i think and and i think we're going to see more of that because they're creating they're telling these incel men uh that they're making victims out of these incels and they're telling them you know these women are to be blamed when a woman does not she does not owe you sex you know she just does not she has if you want to win her over you need to work on yourself this is it there's no two ways about it um and 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 no this is and i'm saying look, women have to pay a price for that as well because they do have a very shorter window uh, of, of time like i mean um you know like i mean a woman has to get a or secure a man for herself or whatever or, or commit in a long relate long-term relationship or something within a very narrow window of um of um the, the, the this time which is okay going from 18 to let's say 35 maybe and then it just it gets harder and harder for her so so you know like if, if she makes wrong choices she's also going to go, going to pay uh, pay a price for it so uh, that it's, it's it's not an easy road for the other side as well yes she uh she's not forced anymore which is for good reason and and this is and for women i would say well that's the price of freedom otherwise you know Go back and just say, Dad, find me a husband, which you think is the best one, and then involve your families and, you know, and then just be unhappy uh, in, in, in a husband that you don't love. So, so yeah, it's just, um, and, and you're right. If, um, so women, I always say that women have an upper hand when choosing a mate or a partner. Uh, because yes, if she's pretty, she's sexy or whatever, she's, she's got more choices. She's spoiled for more choices. she's choice. not pretty, a, a woman who's not pretty, like, or traditionally average. speaking a woman above average. average still has a lot is way more you know 
has a lot more access to men than a man who's average. A woman who's average or below average has a lot more access to men than a man who's average or below average. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. But but yeah. um, but but there's another reason. Have you seen how rich men go for younger women, half their age? Not so very good-looking men, but go for really pretty, stereotypically pretty women. But you don't see billionaire women going for men half their age having toy boys like you'll find some exception but you don't mo well, because there's something else that they find attractive obviously yes. it's not about age yeah but yeah exactly this no, the, yeah yeah, yeah, this, yeah but, no yeah but i'm making a point that uh, so, so there, there, there's biology at play here don't mess with yes. it just go with it and improve on yourself yeah it's almost like complaining about this is almost as, uh, the same as complaining about the fact that you have to pee and that, that you have to eat <laughs> <laughs> like oh so unfair why do i need food to stay alive it's such an inconvenience like mm. okay sure or or, so. or or in a social setting complaining about not getting a job i went i attended 10 interviews i didn't get a job mate improve on your skills or do something if, if, if it's not working this way change your ways do something get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description